stuff going on YouTube. So I know it's a little different scenery than what you're probably used to. But uh, taking Dad's Iron 883 out for a bit. It's a 2015 with some Vance and Heinz slip-ons. Windshield and a bag and rack in the rear. Four controls and a mustache bar like I have. A couple odd little things too. You know, uh, grips and pegs and whatnot. But anyway, uh, yeah, so about a month ago, my mom had uh, back surgery and dad can't really leave her alone for a little while still. And so I'm gonna take his bike out and just mess around on it, make sure it's gotten ridden for a little while. So you're welcome to tag along with me if you want. Just letting it warm up. I'll be back in a bit. So today I just wanted to give a, a quick talk about serving your community or country. So that's something that's always been kind of deep in my heart growing up in the military. Dad was in the Air Force for most of my childhood. Grew up on Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. Spent a little time overseas, although I was really young. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but I remember some. But that's something that, you know, when I was younger, I was a little too rebellious to really want to serve. So by the time that it really crossed my mind, I just had regret from it because I didn't get a chance. But I made up for it in my own way. If I've not talked about it before, I spent eight years, I live in Crawfordsville, the city of Crawfordsville, and I spent eight years as a reserve police officer and served my community in my own way since I was too old to join the military. It was just unfortunate because by the time I got around to having some positions opened up for me for the police department, I was too old for that. So it didn't work out full time, but I did serve eight years for my community and I met some awesome people along the way that I'm still friends with. Had some very interesting experiences. And I have a deeper understanding of what goes in, what's going on around me in my city. But I was I I like to watch YouTube videos about the Marines. You know, even though I grew up in the Air Force. The Marines would have been my choice of branch if I were to pick one. And I, I stumbled upon this guy on YouTube uh, called Davia the Beast, or Davi the Beast, or something like that. Try and look it up if you can. Maybe I'll uh, do a like on one of his videos so you can tap off that. But he's a younger man. I would, I would guess in his early to mid 20s, who is in the Marines. And he talks about and shows some of his lifestyle. And for a young man like that to be so grounded in life, he's, he's really got his shit together and his head on straight. And he has the right mentality that if you have an expectation for yourself or a goal that you want to accomplish, you only have yourself as an obstacle. Everything else is mental. You know, you can achieve whatever you want to in life. You know, you can get physically fit. 
you can learn, you know, mentally, you know, what you're wanting to do. But this whole mentality is, oh, I'm too tired. I had such a rough day at work because I didn't get much sleep. Or this is too hard because it's too taxing in my body. It's just you being weak-minded and not fulfilling the obligation that you want to to achieve your goal. And it's really an inspiration. And uh, I kind of just wanted to share that, you know, because, you know, I, I get down about things being uh, too much of a pain to get up at an hour early and work out. Or I'm, I'm not going to go running and get my cardio in shape because, you know, I've, I just can't do it. It's not for me. Or I've got 10 pounds that I want to lose and I'm having too hard of a time. You know, that's just a mental weakness that I have to get over. And other people see that and learn off of that and I can become an inspiration to someone else and it trickles through, you know, life and, and to other people. And I just think that's really cool. So, you know, you know, going back to the topic of serving, you know, most people, you know, who who like me, who didn't get a chance to serve in you know, the, the, their country in life because they got too old and the military wouldn't take them anymore. There are other ways to do that. There is, you know, reserve paramedics or, you know, voluntary paramedics, voluntary firefighter communities, um, reserve police officers. And, and with that, you know, I can't say that every city uh, reserve officer program is like Crawfordville, but we did the exact same functions as a full-time officer. We wore the same uniforms, we had the same duty weapons, we did the same type of trainings. You know, the only, the only big difference is that some of the cases we didn't quite know how to handle as well because we didn't go through the four month uh, training program because we have full time jobs and you can't be away for four months to go to an academy of some sort. But you know there are and you can and you don't even have to get to a government type of reserve program. You can go and and you know, dedicate some time at your YMCA or, you know, your your local um, park and rec place, you know, picking up sticks or doing groundskeeping or some kind of big brother, big sister program or what have you. So, I mean, there, there's all types of different ways to serve your community. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on that for today. Um, you know, and, and send that, that small message. I'm not a super religious person. I don't go to church. I'm not trying to preach it to you. But it's something that kind of hit me today um, by watching that Dalvio the Beast or whatever the that guy's channel name is. And I, I just wanted to share that. That's really all. So, um, like I said, I'm just out on Dad's Forster. He has an Iron 883. This is a comparison video between this and my Fat Pop because you can't compare these bikes. You know, it's going to be lighter. It's not going to have enough power. It's going to ride more rough. But they're different families of the Harley lineup. And, and you got to expect that. So, But it's a nice bike. I do like to get on his bike occasionally and ride it. It hasn't been ridden for a good month and, you know, out on a highway, you know, get the carbon out of the engine or whatever it is that motorcycles do when they sit for too long. So, I'm, this isn't going to be a long video, this is just a quick video of my thought for the day. It's beautiful out, you know, my older girls are, are home this weekend, 
to watch Molly, so I wanted to go for a ride just to relax my mind. So again, you guys take care. Do what you do. Make your videos. I'm having a great time watching your videos. And if you have a, a bike and you have a helmet, get a GoPro and start vlogging. You know, this isn't hard stuff. And you know, if you don't, if there aren't any new vloggers out there, it gets old watching the same old people. So once again, you know, just take care, be safe, and peace out, guys.